welcome to this quick video overview of Magic Point of Sale. This is one of the nine trends we covered in our recent report on the future of retail. So do download the PDF or watch the other videos to discover the rest. For now, I'm going to start with three words and they are mobile, mobile, mobile. Yes, the implications of mobile empowered shoppers is still playing out. But here's some things we do know. One. Consumers have sky-high expectations when it comes to instant personalization and total relevance. They expect to be served exactly what they need when they need it. Two, they are changing the way they search on Google. There has been a 60% growth in mobile searches for things like best dress for me in, and an 80% growth in mobile searches for things like what should I do with leftover spinach in the past two years. Consumers want information. Yes, but they want information that is tailored to their needs. The next step is that retail brands will go beyond simply knowing the consumer and start reaching out and serving them in the physical context that they happen to be in at that moment. Three is the blurring of offline and online. So we've been tracking this for a long time through trends like point and no, which is basically about what the name suggests. But for a long time, the tech wasn't av widely available to make points know and shop a reality for many consumers and retailers but now bolt on visual search capability things like amazon recognition from aws is available to retail brands large and small and the promise of a totally shoppable physical environment is finally being realized one last thing to mention here is of course apple's ar kit we're just at the beginning of a long phase of ar innovation that will be revolutionary for retail and will reframe expectations when it comes to how where and when consumers engage with brands so the culmination of these drivers is that in 2019 and beyond consumers will expect to summon retail experiences as they would a genie from a lamp called from a smartphone, a personal assistant, a smart speaker, even from the physical environment. That means summoning an on-demand magic point of sale that allows them to engage with brands, browse products and test and purchase in new ways. So how are brands embracing MPOS opportunities? First up, IKEA who in September 2017 added a feature to their app that allows Swedish customers to see pieces of IKEA furniture in position in their own homes. It uses AR kit to bring over 2,000 digitally rendered items into the home along with realistic lighting and shadows. Users just need to scan the floor of the room before selecting a piece of furniture. But when it comes to WeChat's mini programs, you don't even need to download an app. Mini programs allow WeChat users to discover nearby programs and are prompted with program features relevant to their searches. So for example, if you search for taxi, it provides an option to book a car via a third party mini program within the search results and over 580,000 mini programs were launched in the first year. The thing here is that once customers and shoppers are accustomed to or know that it's possible for a magic point of sale to pop up when and where it's needed, they will no longer be bothered to go looking for the right store. How are you going to bring the store to them? And the truth is that mobile isn't the only channel by which you can deliver a magic point of sale. Sticking with Asia for a moment, Alibaba partnered with uh, Chinese shopping malls in time to create augmented reality restroom mirrors. So using the mirror, you could virtually test makeup looks and if you like the products, you can make a purchase on an adjacent vending machine using a QR code link on their cell phone. And thinking beyond convenience for a moment, Nike are fusing magic points of sale and entertainment via the brand's sneakers mobile app. And last year, they promoted their limited edition high dunk shoes with an augmented reality treasure hunt. So participants needed to find a copy of the menu for New York restaurant Fuku um, in the city itself or online. Once the menu was located, sneakers overlaid an interactive 3D model of the shoes onto it and people could tap to unlock and purchase. And the brand have also experimented with other similar ideas um, 
In February 2018, a Kendrick Lamar collection was only available in one location in LA. So if you want to run with Magic Point of Sale, a few things to consider. Yes, mobile and augmented reality are intimately linked, but mobile isn't the only channel via which an MPOS can be delivered. You saw how Alibaba transformed mirrors into a point of sale. Which unlikely locations could you turn into a retail opportunity? Where does your customer spend their time? Why might they delight in summoning you? And as you saw with Nike, this trend is about more than convenience. Think about a magic point of sale that can deliver an immersive experience. As expectations grow that mobile commerce is easy and entertaining, an understanding of your customer's culture combined with well-orchestrated gamification will help you stand out. So three words to really keep in mind here, omnipresent, efficient, and delightful. Making magic isn't going to be easy, but there's no excuse not to try. So hopefully this video has given you some inspiration. Good luck and happy innovating.